Marcus Morris is getting hella annoying, bro. Not only is he annoying to watch because you're always wondering, is it Marcus or Markeith? But he's been trying to injure my guys for too long now. I don't know if y'all watched the game before last game. So I'm talking about two games ago. Game five of the series. Markeith, I mean Marcus, fucking twins. Marcus Morris seemingly intentionally stepped on Luka Doncic's ankle. Or foot, I would say. But that foot was already injured. So Marcus Morris is stepping on an already injured foot. It's the shoe. This is the moment. I don't know, man. Marcus Morris going right after that. Oh. Left foot. I don't know That's... if that was on purpose. You just. Luca was lucky to not get injured by it, but I mean, the intention or the action was still wrong. Marcus Morris even had Patrick Beverly playing Peacemaker, okay? In that situation, Porzingis got ejected. Why did he get ejected? I couldn't tell you, okay? But let's not try to understand the NBA's officiating. That's just like asking for a headache, especially in the playoffs. Just imagine what kind of player you gotta be to have Patrick Beverly be a peacemaker. Patrick Beverly, the same player that's ready to fight Boogie Cousins, Russell Westbrook, Marcus Gasol, KD on any given night. He ready to go with anybody on any day. In case you didn't know, earlier in the series, in game three, if I'm not mistaken, Luka Doncic injured his ankle, okay? He tried to come back and play, but he just couldn't handle it and sat out the rest of the game. Fast forward to game five. It's a close game, beginning of the third quarter. Doncic goes to inbound the ball, and Marcus Morris out of nowhere just decides to, you know what? I'm gonna go get him. He starts walking faster than usual and just miraculously takes an extra long step to land exactly on Luka Doncic's foot. After the game, Marcus Morris received a lot of heat. Like I'm talking Arizona in the summer, heat wave type of heat, you feel me? And he said something to respond to all the heat he was getting on social media along the lines of, I have morals and I play with respect. I would never go out to injure a player. That is not who I am. Something like that, okay? Just miss me with that, man. Honestly, miss me with it. You think I forgot what you tried to do to old Go James? You really think I would forget? He's going on a fast break, running down, you grab him by, you know what? I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm gonna just show you the clip. Run a clip. Steps back, fires a three. Shot short, rebound tipped and taken by James. Here comes James in the open floor. James, grab from behind, count it. He's in the open floor, James. I promise that if it wasn't for LeBron's superhuman strength, whoever he would have pulled down like that, like if it was Don Chich or Trey Young or another guard or something that ain't as built as LeBron, you feel me? Even if it was, let me say, Markeith Morris, his twin brother's head would have smacked down on the floor even if it was a Monday night. My WWE fans are gonna get that one. And I get it, I know, he was trying to slow him down or he was trying to get a foul so that he wouldn't score a bucket with it too. I mean, you can't stop LeBron, but I know you were trying to. But still, if somebody's running straight forward at LeBron's speed, at LeBron's strength, and you pull both, not just one, but both of his shoulders back while he going forward, it's the type of play that causes injuries on players. You don't think it doesn't show enough lack of morals or respect okay explain this one running a pick and roll damn and a foul call As Simmons and Morris they've had some discussions earlier in the game he's got him locked up yeah then he tried to play like it was Morris was it low I know it's subtle but it shows that he has some great morals I mean needing a play in the back of the head I'll grade that 10 for 10 on the morals list what? What do you say? Oh, you're saying that wasn't even clear enough. You're saying that wasn't enough? Okay, I got you. Can you can you explain this one? And as we start this third quarter, and whoa, hey no. Morris and Anderson had been jawing before the quarter started, and now they are going at it. Chris Miller was oh. just, Okay, so he's looking at the elbow, and now watch him. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh at that. How do you explain that one, bro? He literally hit him with a the baby, bro. He hit him with a little Daquan bop, my G. And that bop shit gotta stop. Anyways, after game five, I really thought it would be the end of Marcus Morris's antics, at least for this series, because you never know what's gonna happen next. But in game six, he does it again and again. I know it is not a disastrous or dangerous play, but it's just not the right way to play basketball. Let me run the clip and you'll understand what I mean. 60% for the Clippers, 50% now for the Mavericks. Oh, a hard foul by Morris, and Doncic's up. He wants to go back at him. There's two things that are clear here. 
That's a flagrant foul. The way Mark is playing, I think he think he playing in the hood or something. Like he got a point to prove or something. Like Marcus, we all know that you tough, okay? We already know that you ain't gotta prove it with some stupid plays like that. And before all you old heads get at me, or before all you niggas that got balls bigger than fucking Uranus come at me, okay? I was talking about the planet, by the way. Get your head out the gutter. Before all y'all get at me saying that, oh, this is basketball, you just soft, blah, 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 bro. It ain't the same no more. Basketball used to be like that, but they made changes in the game so it wouldn't be like that no more. You know what I mean? If we were in the 80s, my head ass would have been clapping, bro. I'd be clapping for more. So I'd be like, I love that toxic shit. Like I'm fucking, what's his name again? What's his name? What not? I was about to say Daquan. What's his name? What's his name? You know what I'm talking about? I love the toxicity. Shit. I love toxic. What's that guy's name? I, my brain is just fried right now. I stopped smoking and my brain's fried. How does that add up? I don't know. Anyways, we ain't back then no more, okay? It's 2020. You can make, ah, oh, Oprah side. It's Oprah side. How did I forget that? I don't know. But this ain't 2020, okay? You can miss me with that type of play. The only thing I low-key fuck with is that after the game, he didn't go on social media trying to defend himself, okay? He told a couple haters, quote unquote, to cry him a river. Clippers are winning in six, which they did. Or he said Clippers in six. Something along the lines of that. And honestly, I love the honesty. And even though it sounds like I hate Marcus Morris, I don't. You're just annoying me, bro. You try to do it to the old goat Bron. Now you're trying to do it to the lamb Doncic. Like, I get it. You want to shine in the limelight, but it's kind of dark. But you did shine in one period of your life, and I will forever remember you for that, okay? Remember when you went like this? And then beats face? I remember that for life. You know why? Because I'm a Celtics fan. And even though I'm wearing a Lakers hat, I'm a Celtics fan. I'm only a LeBron fan. It's the only reason I'm wearing this hat, okay? Wherever LeBron goes, I gotta show a little bit of respect. Anyways, anyways, anyways. As this video comes to an end, I just wanna remind y'all to stay hydrated. I mean, we live in a crazy world right now. There's a virus going out. There's pedophile rings out. And I just want you to stay hydrated until things get back to normal. I also wanna say rest in power to Chadwick Boseman, AKA the Black Panther. I mean, it's pretty crazy that we lose the Black Mamba and the Black Panther in the same year, but 2020 has been that type of year. On that note, I'll see y'all in the next video and please let me know in the comment section down below if y'all excited. 2K21 is coming out in a couple days. I think it's coming out in four or five days, okay? Let me know if y'all excited for the 2K21 streams, the 2K21 video challenges. I'm gonna start playing more often, okay? I am not a 2K GOAT, but by the end of the 2K21, I'ma be a 2K lamb, you feel me? <laughs> and if you're a super brazy fan, like always, leave a like on the video. And uh, that's about it. It's all love from here, and I hope it's all love from there. See y'all in the next one. You feel me?